Hi again, everybody. This is Joseph, and we're going to discuss today <clears throat> the data sensors for the engine. Now, as I specified before in previous videos, anything that has to do, specifically sensors that has to do with engine performance, are associated with the PCM, which is the Power Train Control Module. That's the computer. That's the brain of the of the automotive. <clears throat> Just like the heart is, so is this. This is the brain, and it controls air fuel ratio. In order for the engine to understand and to know what's going on, it has to look at sensors, which is the present conditions of air, fuel, oxygen, how everything is being um, consumed, so to say, how the combustion is being effective. So therefore, <clears throat> there are sensors, and I did some videos about this is in the air intake manifold chamber, as I did, and we spoke about, first of all, the PCM takes all the data from what's going on, the present conditions, how much air, how much fuel, how much oxygen, <clears throat> how does it know that? It, it looks at these, throttle position sensor, engine coolant temperature sensor, intake air temperature sensor, manifold absolute pressure sensor. <clears throat> Four of the very important sensors that it looks at, even when you start up on a cold engine, meaning that it is in open loop when you first open or turn on the ignition. Now, looking at the wiring diagram, which we did one time, <clears throat> as you can see, dated the dotted lines mean this is one part of the module. That means there's another part of the module. Okay? <clears throat> Don't note it over here are the numbers 48, 25, 8, 74. <clears throat> As you see over here, when I spoke about intake air temperature, we that means it's looking at how much the temperature is of the air coming into the air chamber. So therefore, it is a resistor, a thermistor, they call it. In other words, with heat, the resistance will go down. When the resistance goes down, the voltage will also go down. However, what's the reference voltage? We know the PCM works at 12 volts. There is a resistor here, a voltage resistor over here. That's going to take some of the voltage from 12 volts. At this point, after this resistor, which is inside internally in the PCM, you will not see this resistor unless you open up the module. Therefore, this is a reference, as I put over here, of 5 volts. This is 5 volts. It can, this cannot go more than 5 volts. It can go less than 5 volts. And that's what its function is. The more the resistance goes down, the more the voltage will go down. So if this goes down from 5 volts to 3 volts, that means the remaining voltage will be across this resistor over here. Of course, the other side goes to low reference, which is a ground given by the PCM. Not an actual chassis ground or metal ground, but it's given by the PCM. And this dotted over here means this is another part of the PCM. You can have 200 pins of the PCM. <clears throat> so, we know, we know the air temperature by measuring voltage. If you put a scanner on it, you'll see how much the signal is. That's for the temperature of the air. Colder air, hotter air. But there's also one more thing. You know, when you start up the engine, it's cold. If it's winter time, 20 degrees, metal parts are cold. It takes longer for it to warm up. How does the engine know this? The engine has to have some sensor, like we just specified, to tell it, hey, it's cold outside, we need more fuel. So therefore, in open loop, which is the status of when you first turn on the car, meaning it does not look at oxygen sensors, it only looks at these basic function sensors 
and your cool temperature will tell you the temperature of the coolant, how warm the engine is getting. And you see that on your gauge, by your temperature gauge. It could be 100, 190, 200. Usually it's in the midpoint, like I made a video. So therefore, again, the same analysis. This is 12 volts, 12 volts. This is a, a voltage dropping resistor over here. Therefore, the reference, which means this is the highest it can go, is 5 volts. It'll go lower, just like the intake air temperature will go lower. This is a thermistor. Its resistance will go, will go down and decrease with heat. If the resistance goes down, the voltage goes down. Instead of 5 volts, it could be 3 volts, 2 volts, whatever it is. <clears throat> Therefore, the engine and the PCM... The computer looks how warm the engine is getting. The warmer the engine is getting, the less fuel you need when you first start it up. And I made several videos about this. So if you enjoy this, please subscribe to my channel called Automotive Electronic Schematics by Joseph. Please subscribe. I'm starting out and I need about a thousand subscribers. It's difficult in the beginning. So I would appreciate people if they would subscribe to that. Getting back to this idea, the concept, <coughs> this temperature sensor is vital and important. If you have problems and it does not, and it does not um, uh, uh, warm up, sometimes it could be the engine coolant temperature sensor. This is one of the most important sensors around for the PCM to tell it how warm, meaning does it have to increase or decrease the, the fuel to the fuel injectors. Therefore, we start out with 5 volts. It could go down to 3 volts, 2 volts. Same concept as intake air temp temperature. <clears throat> Again, low reference. Pin 80, pin 60, pin 24, pin 57. Low reference, meaning the computer... Is giving it a ground. <clears throat> Instead of having a metal ground or chassis ground physically, it gives it electronically a ground. Therefore, we understand this so far. What about now this one? TPS. As I specified, 12 volts. You lose some voltage over here. Again, 5 volts. If you look at the wiring, a tan wire... Now, going to the intake air temperature, and now the ground is going to a black wire. 2760 denotes the, the circuit uh, uh, location for this specific wiring diagram. This is a dealership manual. That's why we have this. Otherwise, you will not see these type of notifications, 2701 or things like that. Therefore, the most important thing is to pay attention Throttle position sensor, we start at 5 volts. <clears throat> now, when you see three points, a gray wire, black wire, dark blue wire. This is a pot. It's called a pot, and I made some videos about it. That There's three connections. When the wiper, the middle one is called the wiper. When the wiper is all the way at the top, meaning it's either clockwise, it's turned clockwise, it'll be... Connected to 5 volts, which is the reference. Midpoint should be about 2.5 volts. Of course, going all the way down counterclockwise will be 0 volts. Again, a low reference given by, by the PCM. So therefore, it'll toggle from 5 volts to 0 volts. When does it toggle? When does it change in variations or voltage? When you step on the gas pedal. When you step on the gas pedal, you're opening up the throttle plate. Letting in more air, which means more fuel. Therefore, if you put a scanner on it, in degrees that this is in, it'll tell you how much degrees it is changing, which is corresponding to voltage. Again, so therefore, if you open the throttle position sensor, you'll have variations in voltage related, relating to that. Therefore, it tells the computer how much air is going in, Therefore, it will, it will change something called pulse width modulation. The pulse width of a waveform that's related to it, it'll change it to either increase it or decrease it to give more fuel. 
so the fuel injectors will stay on more open. When they stay on more open the fuel injectors, they give more fuel into each cylinder. How does all this come about? All these sensors. Therefore, anything related to, like we said, anything related to air coming in, fuel, has to do with the PCM. And I, I'll repeat, the body control module has to do with accessories, lights, doors, and things like that. But anything that controls the <clears throat> air fuel ratio has to do with the comes from the PCM, the commands of the PCM. Manifold absolute pressure sensor has to do with, again, vacuum. That's in the engine. According to vacuum, it knows how much it's open and it understands the load conditions. When you open up the throttle, the vacuum changes inside as opposed to the atmospheric pressure outside. So therefore, again, same thing, a gray wire, pin 48, this is a 5-volt reference. In this case, it tells you it's a 5-volt reference before we had to figure it out. But it does tell you this is a 5-volt reference with a gray wire coming to one side of this map sensor. Again, when the pot is turned clockwise, it'll come to 5 volts. That's the most it can do because this is... The reference voltage it cannot go up to 10 volts the reference is only at 5 volts again the wiper arm which is the middle one called the, the wiper arm is in the middle it's 2.5 going again to ground is 0 volts so it's toggling but therefore this one is an orange wire this one is a light green wire the middle one it'll change the best thing is when you look at the scanner, it'll tell you all these variations, and it'll tell you if it's an open loop, closed loop, meaning if it's in closed loop, meaning it every, the oxygen sensors are heated up, and the PCM is now paying attention to the oxygen sensors to adjust for proper emissions. Nitrogen of oxides, uh, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, hydrocarbons, all these things are related to emissions, proper emissions. And all this has to do with the strimetric ratio of 14.7 parts air to one part fuel will give you the correct emissions. So therefore, please subscribe to my channel, Automotive Electronic Schematics by Joseph. As I said, I need about a thousand subscribers. In the beginning, it's difficult. I want to... Thank all the viewers for giving me views. It increased, and thank you very much. Please find any video that's informative for you in my channel. Thank you.